Each year, we welcome thousands of nonprofits to the Nonprofit Technology Conference. This year, the 12 NTC will be held in San Francisco on April 3rd through the 5th. Learn more at n10.org forward slash NTC. Or if you can't join us in person, find out how you can still connect, learn, and change the world at the NTC online. Learn more at n10.org forward slash NTC forward slash online. We've put together a series of video podcasts featuring just a few of the more than 100 sessions at the event. Today, we're talking to Beth Cantor of BethCantor.org about her session, Picturing Your Data is Better Than a Thousand Numbers. What's your 12 NTC session about, Beth? Okay, it's called Picturing Your Data is Better Than a Thousand Numbers, uh, Data Visualization Techniques for Social Change is what we're talking about. And I had the pleasure of working with Johanna Mariaru and uh, a Brian from Children Now. Why is data visualization important to you? I just finished uh, obsessing over measurement for uh, networked nonprofits and social mm -hmm. media for the last year uh, because I'm about uh, finished, yay, with a manuscript called <laughs> Measuring the Networked Nonprofit with Katie Payne. And uh, one of the chapters was on, um, you know, how do you make sense of your data? And data visualization is a key skill, a key competency in doing that. And so I think that um, we're so happy that we've collected data. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't think about making sense of it. And then when we look at all these numbers in a spreadsheet, we get overwhelmed. And we forget about there's all these fun ways to use visuals to come up with insights. So that's the, the technique that we're going to talk about. Why should nonprofits care about data visualization? If you think about it, I mean, it's the natural evolution of having so much content on the internet and us being so overwhelmed and being able to process information visually allows you to do it quickly. You retain it better, like the name of your panel <laughs> and other things. Um, so I think given the amount of information that we're generating through social networks, through the internet, and just our complicated and busy lives, having a, a way through visualization to be able to remember things is going to become more and more important. What does good data visualization do for you? I, and I've been collecting a lot of them. I've been collecting in several different categories, but one I've been collecting are social media tips. And I think it's really quite interesting to do that. And then I go back and I look at the blog post that it's sort of summarizing, and or it could be a whole report. But I was able to kind of get it <laughs> and then immediately apply it within, within minutes as opposed to having to shut down and read it and think about it for a half hour because it's text. What do bad data visualizations look like? They, they're not clear in their what the message they're trying to get a, a, across. They're crowded. They're busy. Um, I get overwhelmed looking at them. I don't get the clear message and understanding. What's the most important thing you'll talk about? I feel really strongly about that. When you do a session about introducing a technique or a technology, you really have to also talk about the adoption issues. And, um, and so there are adoption issues for organizations that want to embrace measurement. And so recently I sort of came across, actually through an infographic, um, a, 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 this whole thing around the five phases of measurement acceptance. It had a different phrase. Um, have you ever read Kubler-Ross, The Five Stages of Grief? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of a play on that. So first comes denial. I can't measure this. <laughs> then comes fear. Oh my God, if I measure this, I might get fired. Or my executive director will tell me to stop doing social media. The next phase is confusion. I don't know where to begin, or I, I don't know what this means. And then the next phase is delight. Come look at my infographic. Come look at my charts and graphs. And finally, you reach measurement acceptance, which is you're actually generating insights around the information to improve what you're doing. So what's funny about what's fun about that is that we're creating a little bit of an interactive exercise to get the room to talk about these different stages and where they are. I'm curious to see where people in the room will be. Any other reasons people should attend your session? If you... And we're going to also have people draw too. We're bringing crayons and markers. So, I mean, how can we not have crayons and markers and you know all kinds of fun stuff with a visualization? Mm -hmm.